it's your two favorite anchors. I mean, Austin and Damon are good. They just aren't as pretty as us. Not only are we super gorgeous, but we have some serious school spirit. We really do rock those two co-jackets with pride. Are you guys proud to be lions? Because we are. What is school spirit and how do you have it? Let's find out. So having school spirit and staying loyal to your team no matter what, whether we win or lose, you still have to stay loyal to your team and show respect to your school. Um, I think that having school spirit means more than just, you know, like the hype of actually winning a game. It means having respect for your school and actually taking pride in being here. And that means more than just, you know, being happy when we win. That means respecting your school and not throwing trash all over the parking lot. That means respecting the other team and think that we need to be here for each other whether we win or lose. Yeah. Well, that school spirit means you go to the games and you cheer on your team. You don't really diss the other team, you just cheer on for your team because it's the it's fun that way. It's not mean, it's not demeaning, it's really sportsmanlike. I think initially when you think school spirit, we always go to athletic events and we, we think what goes on there, which I think is a very part of important part of school spirit. Um, and I think when you think about athletic events, we want to go to an athletic event and we want to cheer for our team. We want to be positive. We don't want to be derogatory to the other teams. What our goal would be is when the other fans leave, that they have a positive feeling about us, whether they win or lose, that they can say that, you know, those fans handle themselves with class. And I, I think that's important with the athletic event. But I think when you look beyond athletics, there's a lot of other things that represent school spirit. For example, we have a lot of other clubs and organizations that do a lot of different things that are beyond the athletic field that take just as much time and effort. There's all kinds of choir, there's debate, there's FFA, there's numerous, numerous other organizations. And I think that we need to be respectful of those organizations, whether or not we go and, and actually watch them, but we need to be uh, tolerant of the amount of time and effort that they put into their organization and, and their, their activity. The final level would be that as individuals, we need to know what we stand for and we need to stand up for what is right. And if we see an injustice happening, we'd be willing to stand up for that um, and, and represent who we want to be and how we, again, how we want people to, to think of us as individuals. And so as you're out and about and you see something happening that you don't think is right, any kind of injustice, don't be afraid to stand up for it and be what we want to be here at Payson High School. You know, I really love our school, but I'm kind of ready to graduate. Who's not? I find myself struggling to get up in the morning. And getting to school on time is a joke. If I come at all. <laughs> hey, but at least you brushed your hair today. <laughs> we need some serious help. <laughs> oh, hello. My name is Sierra Talley, and I'm a doctor. Today I'm here to talk about an epidemic that has been plaguing high school since the dawn of time. Senioritis. Anyways, some of you might be wondering, what is senioritis? Do I have it? Well, let's take a look at these next few clips to see what exactly senioritis is.
about it. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm going through right now. I must be in here. I don't have to. Sometimes, I just don't feel like going to class, and so I don't. I haven't done anything in Mrs. Bridges' class for probably like three weeks. Mrs. Bridges' class? No, just not doing anything with it. And I don't ever do my homework, and I actually hate school. I don't want to go to class. I got a truancy letter my first term of senior year. I hate this class. I'm just kidding, I don't hate it. I just really want to leave. Seems like we've got it pretty bad this year. But I have the cure. Graduation. We're almost there, seniors. So have hope and stay strong. We can do it. Fellow seniors, we salute you in your efforts to endure to the end. <laughs> the only thing that keeps me going is the thought of boys' soccer season starting. Mmm, soccer boys. The thirst is real. Quick interview with them about the soccer tryouts. So, coach, are you excited for the soccer tryouts and to see a lot of students there? No. I hate soccer tryouts. Too many people. Other people make me nervous. So sweaty. My face is all bright red. I'm all sweaty in my hands. I'm ashamed. So, I don't like soccer tryouts because what I do is I just make them run like 25 miles in the first day. And uh, hopefully then they don't come anymore. Except for, you know, let's see, now the team will take 32. So hopefully 32 come back. But everybody else, hopefully they don't come. I'm scared. Because I'm scared of them. Dang. Boys soccer players are so cute. So make sure you guys try out. Well, the future of our boys' soccer team looks bright. So does the future of our school. Or does it? <laughs> oh, what's the best high school around? Provo. Provo? Why Provo? There's a mean doggy that scares people off. Uh, what are the Provo colors? Do you know? Green. And what are the Payson colors? Orange. No. Green. Green. What's the best high school around? Uh, Salem. Salem? Why Salem? Um, Which Payson? What's the best high school around? Why wow. Eureka? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Um, red. No, I don't think it's red. I can't. Um, it, it is. It's green. No, it ain't. It's green. Why can't it be red though? Because red is a Spanish port color. No, it ain't. <laughs> yes, it is. It's not. Whatever. What's your favorite animal? Horse. No, it's a lion. 
What is it for real? Um, really, it's it's really a horse. It's really a lion. Okay, fine. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Pink. No, it's not. It's green. Are you sure it's not green? Yes. Are you lying? No. I think it's green. Okay, we're gonna go with green. What's your favorite animal? A monkey. I don't think it's a monkey. Yeah, it's a monkey. What is it for real? A monkey. It's not a monkey. No, it's a monkey. Say your real favorite animal. Monkey. Hi, I'm Sierra Stowe, an African humanist. And for just pennies a day, you could save a child. So if you would like to save a child's life, come find me and Sierra in the hall. And give us five dollars every bit. Five dollars is all it takes to save a child's life. Well, yeah. You want to watch a movie? Let's. Okay, cool. Whoa. Dude, we need a commercial. I know just what we need. What are you guys watching? Epic soundtrack. What's going on? Totally pro. <laughs> that was soups cool. Totes my goats. Well, I guess that's it. There's a girls' basketball game tonight at 7. Come support our girls' team and cheer them on at their senior night. <laughs> talent show tryouts are today after school in the auditorium. So get your talented selves there. I mean, we'll be there, so that's the only reason you need to come. Well, I'm Allie. And I'm Sierra. And it's been real. See you next time on The Pride. Perry, can we go back to bed now? Please. <laughs>